Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing this Mummy Venom Mage of Gozag. Uh, because the game told us to. We're playing Hyper Amaloy, so them was the rules. Uh, the last episode, uh, the game crashed. It was very exciting. Um, I don't remember. I mean, I assume like we started at the very here, at like the very beginning of Dungeon 13 or somewhere in the middle. So I assume that's where the crash happened. I don't totally remember. Um, but I think that typically when the game crashes, you get sent back to the... Oh, no, we gotta kill friggin' Azrael again! Ugh. Alright. So, that yeah, I guess we're doing this whole floor over. Um. And, uh, if you didn't watch the debugging session, uh, what happened was... It turns out that the bug was already fixed, but, um... That fix just hadn't made it onto the server yet, so I started the server rebuilding, and uh, then I ended up like that was yesterday, so I ended up not playing anymore that day. So uh, the the fix has been applied, and uh, our amulet of reflection will not cause us to crash the game uh, with with any luck at all. Yeah, I remember all these enemies. There's all these hungry ghosts and Azrael and all this stuff. Okay, let's just, uh, I think I used an amulet of hasting before and it ended up being overkill, but like, we could get less lucky this time, so I don't mind spending it again. Alright, he could just hit us with more hellfire than he did before. There we go, he's dead. Oh no, I don't want a stupid scimitar of flaming. Uh, and I think... After this, we were going to go finish up dungeon, probably. That sounds like me. Um, overall, the character is just going along pretty well. Nothing nothing too remarkable is happening. Uh, oh, can I remember what this ring is? Hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a peek at what we haven't identified and see if I can just... Uh, Just for fun, try to remember what this is. It's sustain attributes, I remember, right? Sustain attributes? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm a genius. Uh, of course, you know, it really just doesn't matter. Nice stab. I don't remember if we got stab last time, probably. This is like time travel, it's weird. Uh, I'm noticing my defenses are not as great as I would like, but I'm working on them, right? I mean, fighting and dodging, charms, nice magic, that's basically all defenses. So, you know, not much more I can do on that front. I guess I could spread the experience. We didn't get up here last time. I could spread the experience around a little differently, but I don't think it matters. Uh, there's only one slime creature in here, so I don't have to worry about, like, slime creatures merging. And uh, the rest of this stuff looks pretty harmless, really. We might get corroded a bit. But probably not very much. I am wearing that Amulet of Reflection, right? Yeah, it'd be kind of a shame to get that issue fixed and then still not even wear it. Not get the advantage, the bonus out of it. Let's just hold down Shift-Tab. There we go. Easy. These two guys at the back slept through the whole thing. So apparently you can turn off the, um, the screen flashing effect from Old Grub's Toxic Radiance, which is good. I would like to do that. Uh, but I don't, I don't really know how, and I didn't bother to look it up before we get we got started here. So instead, I won't do that. Oh well. But just having like a dagger of electrocution, I mean, it's all the other stuff I'm putting experience into almost like doesn't matter because. We can just tab everything. I wonder when we're going to run into that gargoyle. Isn't he like... 
down. He must be down here, right? There's not much left of the floor. Snorg. I don't remember seeing Snorg. That's weird. Maybe I killed him and just didn't even notice. He's berserk now, which is frightening. Can I confuse him? I think that's possible, even though he's... He's berserk, but confused. So we'll just get some stabs on him or something, and he's going to get poisoned, and yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. No gargoyles, huh? What? That's weird. Uh, did I kill one without even noticing? I don't think so. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what happened to the gargoyle, but I mean, I guess it's fine. Uh, all these vampire mosquitoes aren't affected by old grebs, which is kind of a pain, but they also don't really hurt much, so... Can they even drain life from me? I think they probably can't, right? They can from, like, normal player races. Living player races, I suppose I suppose I should say. Um... I don't think it works against mummies in the same way that mummies can't. Ooh, yes! Yes! Spells I want! Alright, that'll do for now. And let's, like, immediately work on translocations. I'm just not sure what to turn off for it. How's Azakuba's armor looking? It's not as done as I would like. I'll just turn it on and leave everything else on, too. That's not the disciplined way to do it. Uh, let's turn off charms, I guess. That'll be fine. And I still, like, I have the option to work on stealth, which seems kind of crazy, but with a dagger as my main weapon, we could actually get like, that is, stabbing is sort of an option, and the fact that my best weapon option is a dagger, something that I, and because it's electrocution, it's one that I plan to carry with me till most of the, the game, like, being able to stab stuff sounds kind of cool. Um, obviously, poison is going to stop being so effective eventually. Um, and we'll need some other way to kill things. This is, uh, this is the game where I have, like, summoning available, don't I? Yeah, I think I'd rather go summoning. Um, we have that Book of the Warp, which we, we could use to learn Warp Weapon. Actually, speaking of which, why... Why am I... Why did I turn off Charms instead of Ice? I was kind of thinking, like, I guess I'll just get Ice to 6. Um, it's kind of nice to get to round numbers. It's not like super crucial to do so, but it's a nice, you know, if, if all other things are equal, I'd rather have like five of one skill and six of another. I think actually like half level breakpoints are okay also, um, but I was at like 5.6, which I think is not good. I'm not entirely sure that this is accurate either. Wait, are fire dragons resistant to poison? They are, I forgot about that. Mostly because it doesn't make any sense. Like, why should they be resistant to poison? That's my opinion. Yeah, that fire dragon hurts kind of a bit. Oh, of course, because we're Gozag, we're not going to be getting any dragon corpses this game. 
Uh, is there any hide lying around? No, of course not. We won't get any troll hides either. Uh, which means it'd be a little bit harder to craft the perfect body armor. So I'll probably have to buy it, which is fine. Hmm, that's nice. I mean, I don't want it right now. I have electrocution, but it means that when I, if I get a quick blade, I can brand it. Um, and on the one hand, I don't think I will find a quick blade. But as Gozag, I could fund shops until I get one, or I could, um, I could just go get this troll requirement. And if I uh, used it. Um, if you try to acquire a short blade, you are extremely likely to get a quick blade. It's like this weird special case in the acquirement code where it's like the one case of when you acquire a weapon, you want you actually get what you want. Um, and I don't know that a quick blade is what I want. Like this is electrocution, obviously, is a great brand for a fast weapon. Let's see, it does four damage. Quick Blade does five damage, but it attacks almost twice as fast. So, and I think it's more accurate even. Mm, same accuracy. So, um, I don't know. We could do that. Or, like, there's an evening star around somewhere that we could, um, I think there's one somewhere. Maybe not. Well, I guess I searched for ego, right? So, evening. Yeah, there's an enchanted evening star in lair. That's, like, a, a top-notch melee weapon. But we're not going to have enough strength, really, to make it work, I think. Um, so we're going to want, like, a sword of some kind. Blade. You know, like a demon blade would be probably better than a quick blade. Um, but I don't, I don't think any of those exist right now. There's no demon weapons at all. So I don't know. Um, do I want to go get my acquirement and spend it on a quick blade? Is the question that I'm trying to answer. And I'm trying to answer that question because I found brand weapon. I think I'm just not going to do it right now. The weapon we have is perfectly sufficient for our needs. So if the plan is to use that acquirement on a weapon, then I think it's OK to wait. I mean, oh, stepped in a teleport trap. I am. It's not generally a good thing to wait on acquirement. And I think that that does apply here. Like, I really should be using it. Uh, but because it's in a shop, I can sort of trick myself into thinking I don't own it right now, even though I could buy it if I wanted to. Um, and I think that that's like just me misleading myself, really. Uh, but, you know, there you go. That's why I'm not doing it. And, oh, is this the gargoyle we ran into? It might be. I remember the battlefield looking kind of like this. So maybe we actually finished all of Dungeon 14 in the last episode. But we should have him now. Look, look, oh, it even, oh, how perfect. It hit him. Vindicated. He was killed, hoist by his own petard, or whatever you say that as. Um, you know, the, um, the stone arrow that crashed the game uh, came back and instead killed him. So this looks like the entrance to depths, right? That's the only reason there would be Tengu around here. They don't normally spawn in dungeon. Plus, like, it just looks weird. In here, right? Okay. Huh? Never mind. Maybe it's just like what? In here? 
What were a bunch of Tango doing here then? All right, I mean, there's like a Mana Viper makes no sense either. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. It certainly looks like uh, northeast of here must be where Depths is. I'm just confused. Ha! Okay, I take it all back. This is the uh, sneaky shop. And this is all just junk. Yeah, totally useless. Um, Serpent Skin Scales is a vault defined shop that like just has a bunch of poison stuff and maybe Naga Bardings or something. Um, it's kind of a problem. Whoa. Uh, I didn't think it was quite that bad. All right, with the Manticore there, this is like, I've made a serious mistake, and I need to fix it immediately. If, if it were just the elephant, I could maybe try walking away, but like the Manticore at some point might try shooting something at us. And even the elephant, like, uh, is going to get two turns in a row eventually, just by luck. So, we could use a Potion Petition, we could use Wand of Heal Wounds, we could use the Fan of Gales to get some distance, but we wouldn't get much distance. I think the Wand of Heal Wounds is the clear winner here, um, because it's guaranteed to give us some health, which is what we need to build a little bit of room. And then we can take a Potion Petition to get, like, Haste and Heal Wounds or something would be ideal. No, look, there's the ideal Potion, Haste and Heal Wounds. Boop. And, you know, did we need those? Eh, probably would have been okay without it, but... I mean, the first seal wounds we definitely needed, I, you know. The potion petition, we probably could have been fine. Like, I don't know, I think the... The Jair Elephant sort of just got a few lucky rolls against us. But I was treating him too ca casually. I was thinking of him as, like, just an ordinary elephant. I didn't really look too closely and notice he was a dire elephant. Um, so I did not respawn appropriately. Level 16. Cool, cool. And, uh, there we are. We're done. And, uh, this I think is a pretty short video if I'm going to cut it here, but, you know, the next natural place to go is Spider, which certainly deserves its own video. So, alternatively, I could go grab that scroll requirement. Or go shopping, go zag shopping. Um, get the rod of clouds. It's still, like I just don't have the experience to spare for all that stuff. Although I'm getting close to that point because all the spells I'm actually using are in good shape, and uh, I don't have any more that I want to get. So, and my weapons in good shape. So maybe it is time for evocations, but I think I'll um, I'll go try to get a quick blade. Although I could maybe wish for armor, and like if I were very lucky, I would get. This is dumb. I'm not gonna get dragon armor that way. That's so dumb. Uh, if I did get dragon armor, it'd be like too heavy or whatever. It's just a silly way to do things. I'm just gonna go get a weapon, which. Uh, on the one hand, like I already have a great weapon. Um, so I don't really need it, but I don't think I need much of anything else. Maybe I want a book? Uh, I don't know, but it seems wrong to leave it just sitting in a shop there, not doing me any good. So I'm just going to buy this. And, uh, I don't know, I have summonings, like I already have a good book. I don't want armor, I don't want jewelry. I don't want a wand. I don't want miscellaneous. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get a weapon. Like, hopefully it's a quick blade. And even if I won't be using it right away, it is great. Um, plus four, cool. So now, oh, it 
that's for sale right here. Let's go buy this as well. Let's enchant up the quick blade a bit. Go grab uh, these scrolls, like let's brand it as something good. And uh, I'll be right with you when I'm done with this hill giant here. We're just going to craft that um, quick blade into something a little bit more useful. And uh, maybe it'll get a really crappy brand and like that would be too bad, but maybe it won't. No, read, not wield. Read. Where is it? There it is, capital M on L. Flaming, eh, not the best. But uh, is it, it could arguably be better than, like if it were plus nine, I'm not really sure which would be better. Right now, the dagger is still better, but as a Gozag dude, I sort of expect to get enough um, scrolls that uh, we can make this quick blade into like something good. So let's head to Spider and uh, oh, that's a Tarantella, exactly what we were afraid of in Spider. And uh, we're just going to end the video once we are at the entrance to Spider. And then in the next video, of course, we will continue downwards into Spider itself. Uh, I never know if I should like do a conclusive thing here at the end. I always I understand like, here's what we just did, and here's what we're going to do next, and see you next time. Great, right? And then in the next one, I say, here's what we just did. Here's what we're going to do next. So I don't know. Maybe it's just hard to get out of the habit, you know, of saying, like, uh, here's what we did. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.